$20 Dick Sporting Goods Fishing Challenge. Let's get after it. So this is what we're gonna be doing today, guys. We're gonna be going to Dick Sporting Goods, buying $20 worth of fishing tackle, lures, hooks, weights, whatever it is. We're not gonna buy a fishing rod, but usually in these videos, I usually go to the tackle shops. I usually buy a certain amount of tackle at a certain number, like $20, $25, whatever my limit is, and then I go talk about the tackle. Well, today we're gonna to do something a little bit different, and we're actually gonna to go to Dick Sporting Goods, spend $20 on lures, terminal tackle, hooks, weights, whatever it is, and actually go to my backyard pond and try to catch a fish on each bait. Let's go ahead and get this video started. One thing I did forget to add guys was I've actually been to this Dick's multiple times I've actually filmed here. I'd say at least three times and three times I've actually got caught filming. I have not got kicked out of here but they have politely asked me that I cannot film in this store so I'm going to keep this very low key when I go in there. If I don't film much I will take all the tackle out to my car anyways and show you guys what I bought but I'm going to bring my iPhone in there. We're going to be super low key about it. Let's get it started. They really don't have much of a selection here of Senkos. They have black and blue green pumpkin, watermelon red. Probably just gonna end up going with the green pumpkin. They have Yamamoto's, but they're like $9 compared to $3. So I'm probably gonna go with green pumpkin. The water clarity is not, it's not super dirty bad my farm. All right, guys, I actually just got home from Dick's Sporting Goods. I apologize for not filming much in there. The guy who actually caught me the past two times is actually there, and he was kind of keeping an eye on me. So I try to keep it as low-key as possible, but I am going to show you guys the baits that I actually got today. So here is the receipt from today. It actually ended up being $20.59, so we hit that $20. $20 mark before tax it was actually $19.24 so let me show you guys what I bought starting off with the soft plastic base I actually bought first ones were the yum dingers and I actually got these in green pumpkin because they did not have too many colors those are actually $2.99 and it's gonna work perfect in my pond since the water's not too dirty anyway so that should be good um, the next bait I got I had a few dollars left and I needed like crawl style bait and this one actually looks very identical to a crawfish this is actually in June bug which works great in my pond as well um, like I said it's not too dirty not too clear so honestly the green pumpkin and the Jumbo are gonna work perfectly fine. I believe I can get bites on them either way. Going along with those baits, I actually got some 316 ounce bullet weights right here, regular lead weights. I got some bobber stops, and I also got some regular EWG hooks by Gamagatsu. And lastly, this is the moving bait that I bought, which is actually a Z-Man chowder bait, white and chartreuse. So we're gonna be tying this on on one rod, and then we're probably gonna start off with either the worm or the crawl. I haven't decided yet, but these are both gonna be on the same rig with the bobber stop. All right, guys, just got our poles rigged up. We have the chatter bait on one rod, and then we have the Texas rig Sanko that's actually has a bobber stop on the top of it on the other rod how this is going to work is pretty much i'm going to fish this corner by my house with the texas rig including the senko and the crawl i'm gonna to try to catch a fish on both of those and once i do that i'm gonna actually take the chatter bait and kind of go walk around the pond and cover a lot of water and see how many fish we can catch let's go ahead and get this challenge started all right guys as you guys can tell i have the yum dingers right here and then we have the big body baits crawls and we're gonna start off with this in this corner. I don't like carrying around multiple rods and fishing. I like to cover a lot of water. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with this Texas rig. We're gonna see if we can pop one off real quick on the Senko. I know a lot of fish sit out here. Let's see what we can get. All right, guys, we should get one right here. This should not be a problem. There's a little bit of grass that comes out right here. I'm staying way off of this so I don't spook any fish. There should be one laying on the end of that. Especially it's got a slight ripple pushing back in here. I didn't get the best cast. And there is a freaking net. That is not good. What in the world? There he is. Oh, 
He spit it. He was a freaking like three pounder. Oh my God. How did I lose him? He's just running with it. That was a freaking good one, guys. On the Senko. I don't know how I lost him. Golly. It is slow right now too. I can tell you guys that it's gonna be a lot harder than I was expecting. We're gonna keep on trying though. This is not the easiest place to catch fish at, I can tell you that. Oh, he's got it. Get up here, boy. Solid too. That is a whole different fish too. I promise you that. That was not the same one. There is more here. And me being the idiot that I am, I actually forgot my crawls over by my fence. I did not bring them with me, so I'll have to run back and grab those. But I can tell you one thing. The Senko is done. Two casts in a row. Hooked one that was about a pound bigger than this. But still, that is absolute beautiful fish right there on the Senko. That's one out of three baits done. I'm gonna go back and get the crawl and we're gonna see if we can catch the second one. Let's get a release on this bad boy. Here you go guys, beautiful fish. There she goes. All right guys, just rigged up this crayfish. So that looks absolutely phenomenal. Oh my God, and with this water being, it just has a slight bit of clarity. It's like it's a brownish, it's got a brownish tint to the water. It's a little dirty, but it's got that clarity. It's kind of confusing. So pretty much that's why I was saying both of these colors work great in here, but they should destroy. Since we got some rain the past couple of days, the water's a little dirtier than it usually is. So they should destroy this June bug. Not only should they destroy this June bug, but I just think that presentation right there is gonna absolutely smack them. I have a tree over here. This is actually why I had the bobber stop that I'm gonna flip inside the tree and try to drag a fish out of the branches. This is gonna be awesome. Guys, we're going in for it. See this tree right here? I'm just gonna flip right in there. I think he just hit it. Yeah, he's got it. He had it right away. I know there's fish that live in this tree. Golly, he had it. He hit it on the fall. Oh my God. There we go, baby. <laughs> there we go. He choked it too. Oh man, that was perfect guys. I was actually reeling it and I watched him come out of nowhere and swallow it and I let him take a second and he ate it. God, look at that fish. Look at the colors on that thing. Absolutely beautiful. I think I'm gonna sit here. So there's two baits done. We got the crawl and we got the Senko done. I think I'm gonna take the crawl off, put on another Senko and see if I can catch a fish or two. They were gonna go back, grab my chatterbait, and cover a lot of water. Let's go, baby. Let's get a release on. There he goes. All right, guys, we are two thirds of the way done with this video. I caught a fish on the Big Bite Baits crawl, caught a fish on the Senko, almost caught multiple fish on the Senko. I ended up losing two. The first one came off for no apparent reason. I have no idea why that one came off. Second one, I guess, just didn't have it, or it might not even have been a bass. Because it did buy, I mean, it whacked it hard i waited took off to the side and just for some reason he just did not get hooked up but we do have one more bait left and it is the z-man chatter bait so we're about to go out here and cover a lot of water with this bait i'm gonna walk around a majority of the pond hopefully we can catch a big bass let's get after it oh my God. Yes! <laughs> we completed the challenge, baby. And he hammered it like a freight train. Look at that thing, guys. Look at that. Oh my God. He hammered it so hard. He knocked it sideways. That is the third fish, guys, on the third and final bait. We completed the challenge, but I'm going to continue and fish. I'm going to actually cover a lot of water with this chatterbait, especially if they're going to eat it like that. What a beautiful fish. Golly, on a beautiful day out today. Nothing big, but we're going to keep hunting. Let's get a release on this guy. Keep chucking that chatterbait. God. He came off. Or is he stuck in the net? He's stuck in the net. Or no, he's... Does he go? All right. I'm considering that a catch. And that was a pretty awesome catch, honestly. I wish I could have got him out of the net. Right when my chatterbait hit the water, he just swirled on it. I couldn't tell you how many times this little netting right here has screwed me on the bank. Like literally, what had happened was when I hooked him, I got I was about to fl flip him up on the bank, but my hook caught the net. So the fish just popped right off. 
that is going to conclude today's video guys just got off the water honestly i'm not too happy with today's you know whole deal with the whole fish catch thing but i am happy that we actually got to complete the challenge i actually got a shoulder injury yesterday i believe it was and it got to the point to a man to go that last fish that i actually lost i just couldn't couldn't take it anymore i'm trying to let my shoulder heal and now for some reason it's starting to get really really stiff again but enough with that guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more 20 dollars challenges whether it's at bass pro shops academy walmart cabela's wherever it is be sure to drop a big like on this video it was a really hard for me not to talk a lot about fishing and what i'm doing and why i'm doing in this video i wanted to keep this very relevant to the topic and about the whole challenge whole setup but if you guys want to see more videos on you know tips for fishing pond fishing tips tackle videos be sure to check out my channel and be sure to subscribe and turn my post notifications on because i have tons of videos like that on my channel but thank you guys so much for the support i love you guys so much be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next video